It's a home rule option. Um, we seek voter approval of this every four years, and uh, we, it is coming up again this year, and it's proposed uh, to be placed on the August 28th uh, primary election ballot. Um, this expenditure limitation originated with voter approval in a constitutional amendment back in 1980, limiting local government spending. And the limit applies, as it's in the Constitution, to expenditures only of governments, but it does not limit our revenues or our capacity to collect those revenues. It's a formula-based calculation, what, a, the, what the state imposed limitation is. It starts with what the town's revenues were back in 1979, 1980, which were just over $272,000. And it uh, escalates that number with a population growth factor since 1978. Um, up through present, back in 1978, our population was just under 1,500 people. And then that calculation is further uh, inflated by an inflation factor that is provided to us by the Arizona Department of Revenue. Another piece of the equation also includes some exclusions that are allowed in the Constitution where some of our revenues and expenditures are allowed to be exclude from, excluded from that limitation, such as debt service payments, uh, grants from the federal government, and HERF revenues. And so those are able to be added to the formula calculation. The table here with all of the numbers run through our formula uh, for the town projects our state imposed limitation at anywhere from 40 million up to about 45 million over the next four years. And this is what our budget would have to be restricted to if home rule were not to pass uh, at the ballot. This slide uh, shows that the projections for the revenues that we have over the next four years. Um, again, the, the state imposed limitation does not limit our revenues. Those would still continue to come in as we would project them anywhere from 120 million up to 133 million over that four year time frame. Uh, the state imposed limitation is calculated by the formula is in that middle column. And the final column is the difference. This is the amount that we would have to cut our budgets in order to fall within that state imposed limitation were it not to pass uh, in August. Again, just very briefly, the consequences of being under the state imposed limitation, we would need to cut our budget drastically to match that limitation while our revenue would continue to flow into the town at those projected levels. Uh, thereby increasing the town's contingency reserves. So those reserves would grow and services would have to be severely reduced. And then we would have to wait, uh, the law requires us to wait two years before we could place another home rule ballot question on the next regular election. Fortunately, the uh, Constitution allows an alternative to the state imposed limitation to allow for uh, communities to seek voter approval for an alternative expenditure limitation, recognizing that uh, the, the formula-based is not a one-size-fits-all uh, solution. So the alternative expenditure limitation, which is what we operate under, allows us to develop our local budget, li our budget limits locally, adopt them locally based on our local needs, service levels, and available resources. And we've been operating under home rule for the past uh, 36 years. We've received voter approval on this every four years since 1982. With home rule, we would still operate under an expenditure limitation that's set when the council approves the, the budget every year during the budget adoption process. Uh, being under home rule allows us to have local control, allows us to address our local priorities and our unique needs to our community with our funding sources. Um, our budget still goes through the public process. Public study sessions are held. We publish the budget publicly. We hold public hearings on both the tentative and the final budget. And being under home rule does not result, as you know, in an increase or a decrease in tax rates and it does not enable the town to spend any more than its available approved resources. 